the last few years, a lot of people have been asking me, can I use Stars and Stripes touchless soaps through pump sprayers? And I've always said no, because I just figured, well, you need the high pressure to be able to rinse it and get a good finish. You can't use it at low pressure. I don't know why I didn't realize I could just put it on with pump sprayers and then rinse it at high pressure. So today we're going to investigate that. Right, so these are the soaps, stars, stripes. They need to stay separate till they mix on the vehicle. We're using two pump sprayers. I grabbed these Home Depot, man. We've got pump sprayers that we sell from IK, but they're big money. These are like literally $9. I used to buy these from my customers whenever they needed a pump sprayer. I'd just give them to them, you know, because, I mean, why even charge for them? If they're nine bucks, just be a nice person and give them away, you know. <laughs> Don't get any better than this price-wise, man. Ten dollars is like a gallon of milk. You got all plastic parts with these HDX sprayers. When it all boils down to what works, if you're working with chemicals, you just want an all-plastic sprayer. That's the main thing that determines longevity. So these things actually last pretty much forever. Can't ask for more than that. So the goal here is to figure out, you know, how cheap can you use Stars and Stripes, right? Two $9 sprayers, so you're into it for 20 bucks there. And then you can get the small sizes of Stars and Stripes. I sell these in 32 ounce bottles too. What is that, $64? Yeah, I think $64 would get you up and running, and then you just use this at like a, a self-serve car wash. Let me, let me break down how we normally mix them so we can make it match. I usually mix four parts water, one part soap into these. So like, you know, a little more than three quarters water, and then a little less than a quarter soap in here. And then the foam cannons mix roughly 20 to one. As long as the, this knob adjusts that. Four to one here, and then these are cutting roughly 20 to one. Basically, you multiply the parts, which would give you one 100 to 1. 20 times 5 would be 100 to 1. That is the panel impact ratio. That means the ratio of the soap on the surface of the vehicle. That's what we want to measure for in the pump sprayer. We need to replicate what the foam cannons are doing perfectly. What that means is that I think you can go really far using a pump sprayer with stars and stripes. Let me visualize for you what that 100 to 1 ratio looks like in a graduated cylinder. And that's how we'll mix the soaps up so we know what we're doing. So this is a graduated cylinder. You do not need to measure like this. Do not worry about this kind of accuracy. We're just doing this for science. This is a, a medication dropper for my dog. Don't worry, I won't reuse it for her. But you can set this at different strengths, different milliliters, right? So it's really easy. So we'll use this to kind of figure out our strength going onto the vehicle. So 250 milliliters of water, one percent of that would be 2.5 milliliters. So we'll set that there. That's how we'll get to exactly 100 to 1 on the panel impact ratio. There it is. This is how much stripes versus water goes onto the vehicle surface when you're using the foam cannon. Same as my real deal injectors, all of my injectors, they're all set to automatically put that much soap into this much water. 1% of what I'm power washing with in my videos is soap, the rest, the 99% is water. So it's very concentrated. Let's see how this works. Actually, let me do this a couple times because that's, that's really not very much. Let's do this like twice. One more fill up just because it's, we need like a little bit more to do anything. There we go. All right, this pump sprayer is ready. I'm just gonna sharpie a big two on this thing, and then we'll know that's the second step. It's very important that these soaps mix on the surface of the vehicle and not ahead of time, because they neutralize each other. It's unfortunate, because I would love to be able to not have to go over the vehicle with two soaps, but I don't think there's a way around it. I mean, you can get a pretty decent wash with just a high alkaline soap. There's a lot of soaps out there like that. They just don't do as well as a high alkaline and a low pH acid. You know, you gotta have both those sides of the spectrum to make it go really, really good. It's unfortunate. I've tried mixing these together ahead of time. Yeah, they just nerf each other and they don't work as good as a standalone like high alkaline soap would. You'll notice that a lot of touchless car washes use two soaps, same concept. Car washes generally put the alkaline side on first and then neutralize it with an acid. I do it the opposite way. For some reason in the trucking world, it's acid first then alkaline. <laughs> I don't know why, no idea. If anybody knows why that is, let me know. Or warn. Amazing. It does not take much soap to treat the water, that's for sure. And we'll fill it up twice, just so we have enough of it, you know. Science, man. That should be plenty. 
We're using five milliliters of each. Hey Siri, how many milliliters are in one gallon? 3,785 divided by five. Filling up two vials of an graduated cylinder, it would give you 757 washes out of a set of gallons. A set of gallons is 90 bucks, plus shipping is 15, so 105 divided by 757, was it? So you're at 14 cents per wash. So let's see how this works. I have a feeling that it's not gonna work as good as the foam cannons just because it's not gonna have that foamy cling time that foam cannons give, which begs the question, what about a foaming pump sprayer? I mean, those are big money. You're looking at 140 bucks-ish for an IK Foam Pro 12. At that point, you might as well buy a foam cannon. I just bought a foam cannon on Amazon. Two of them actually come in. $9 delivered. I mean, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm sure they work fine, too. We're gonna play with those soon. One thing that I like about these HDX sprayers is this, uh, I mean, that's, that's nice. Just for the sake of finding out, if you wanted to replicate this, 250 milliliters is one quarter of a quart. So if you have a 32 ounce bottle, it'd be eight ounces in the bottom. So it'd be, you know, and then a cap, <laughs> let's see here. One half of a gallon cap. Don't worry about measuring too much. Just put a splash of it in there. I think it's overkill to use a graduated cylinder, but we have to, we have to on the first pass because now we know the, what's really happening. And now I can double up the strength, use maybe 2% of the soap instead of one or something. We gotta see how this works. So we're gonna find out the answer. So the other half of this equation is the foam cannons. This is stars and stripes here, but this is cut four to one ahead of time through the expansion pack system. Basically you have four gallons of water in here and you top it off with a gallon of concentrate. All right, we got these things ready. So let's use the foam cannons on the front half here, and then we'll use the pump sprayers on the back half. I took this thing off road to get it dirty about a month ago. I wanted I wanted to let it cook for a while because I think that might have a factor in how easily the dirt comes off, you know? I think fresh dirt is almost like fake dirt. I think you want it to bake into the paint for a little bit. All right, so first up, we'll hit up the foam cannons here. Yeah, knobs are tight. Fan pattern is wide. Here we go. Is it worth it, you know? I mean, the goal of touchless washing is just kind of two parts to it. Save time, first off. The other perk is it eliminates scratching. Let's mix these two together. And since this is taking so long and that's getting so much more dwell time, I'll let this dwell for as, as long while I, I'm gonna rinse that side first. So slow. So yeah, I've always told people, no, you can't use it with pump sprayers. I don't know, I just feel like it's more work than it's worth. Vehicles, you know, even a small vehicle is a big surface area when you're using a pump sprayer. And that's why foam cannons are so nice. The foam cannon's definitely helpful. All right, let's rinse this thing down. This also answers the question of, can stars and stripes be used on a car? I mean, the hardest thing to wash is a, a show truck with mirror polished aluminum, like a big rig with mirror polished aluminum. In my experience, that's the most difficult thing. And that's what these are aimed at being able to wash without damage. The car is easy. Let's dry this thing off and see what we've got. At first glance, I mean, 
I think the, uh, the the backside might have come out a little better, but some of that's on me, you know. Spots where I didn't hit as well with the pressure are not going to come out as clean, you know. I mean, I can't even barely get the camera to focus on it. There's just some very light mud left over. I need like a microscope to show you. There, there's just a little bit of mud splatter here in the paint. So you can kind of see a little bit of film there. It boils down to the rinse. But if I look closely at the back of this thing, I, uh, I noticed that it might have somehow come out a little bit better. It took a little longer to apply it though. And especially in like the wheel wells, like I wasn't really able to get in there very good. Like that is clean. <laughs> but that might just be circumstantial in certain areas are dirtier than others. And I, I don't think I rinsed that one spot on that door as well as I could have. One interesting thing though, is that this tire is not perfect by any means. It's got some, some junk on there, but it looks better, I think, at least in real life here than the front tire. Front tire's got more substantial junk on it. I think, um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, that stuff didn't melt off. Verdict, pump sprayers take too long to be efficient enough to be worthwhile. I don't think it came cleaner because of the pump sprayers on the back half of the vehicle. I think that's just kind of circumstance. I think the foam cannons have an edge because of the foam itself having more cling time. It just makes more sense that the soaps would have more time to do their thing. If you already have a power washer, grab yourself some $8.99 foam cannons on Amazon. If you want to save a few bucks, it'll be cheaper than the pump sprayers, the cheapest pump sprayers. I think that you'll be happier because it'll save you time. And that's really the whole point. If you're going to spend all the effort and time it takes to pump spray a vehicle down, you should just hand wash the vehicle probably because <laughs> then you'll get 100% clean. Touchless washers are just a shortcut to save time.